Good afternoon. I'm Doc D. I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. We want to welcome you to Straight Talk About the Blended Family. We appreciate you tuning in to us today, and we pray that we will give you a fresh perspective on how to allow your blended family to mesh and to blend well. Welcome to Straight Talk About the Blended Family. I'm Doc D. I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Mangums. Thank you for joining us on this fantastic <laughs> Wednesday. Yes. I don't know if you've been outside, but it's really Beautiful. nice. Um, we are wearing some light springy <laughs> colors because we enjoy it. And notice I don't have my signature bow tie on because today I'm just kind of chilling. But listen, you know what we got to do before we really get into any announcements are the show we are excited about today's show we got some good stuff we're already laughing because it's going to be good listen let's have a word of prayer father we thank you for another opportunity we ask you to just bless everything that we're going to do touch our audience touch the ones that are viewing us god we pray that we will encourage them that we will equip them and they will we will also empower them in their blended families to know that they are Great, great, great blended families. Yes. These things we ask in your precious name. Amen. Amen. Today, I got a couple announcements. Um, I have been very blessed and fortunate to be a part of the Step Family Conference coming on June the 1st. You need to go on my Facebook page, all of my social media outlets. It's going to be fantastic. Listen, they're going to have complimentary breakfast and lunch. They're going to have a daycare facility. So you as single parents, you as couples, bring your kids. They're going to have somebody to hang out with your kids that are specializing in loving your kids. So again, the Step Family Conference, blended with love. It's going to be phenomenal. Some great, great speakers. I'm one of the speakers. And so we want to invite you to come out and check it out. Don't wait for a crisis to take place in your blended family before you come out. Have an opportunity. My next announcement, I'm really excited about. We're going to have a lot of fun. The Tri-County Youth Services Bureau is sponsoring a spring black and white party where we get a chance to wear black and white. We get a chance to do some dancing. We thank you right now because, you know, here's the thing. It's for the youth. The youth in the communities need to be encouraged. They need to be lifted. And listen, if you can't come, sponsor someone go on to my facebook page you will see the flyer go on to instagram or you can email me at drblend1 at gmail.com again d-r-b-l-e-n-d-1 at gmail.com or shoot my wife an email her email address is simply peachy mm at gmail.com s-i-m-p-l-y p-e-a-c-h M M uh, as in Michael Michael P E A C H Y. Oh, I forgot the Y. Yeah, yeah. I got it comes up on it comes up on my on my site my email and back at gmail.com. So please reach out. Listen, this is going to be a fantastic. We're gonna have bingo. It's gonna be dancing. It's gonna be some food. Listen, come out and have some fun. Mm -hmm. And again, if you cannot come, we want you to sponsor someone. Reach out to us because, listen, we want the kids to come so they can have some fun. Thank you so much. My wife is slipping me all these announcements. I don't know why she's doing this. Um, we're going to have to change this format of this. But also, we are a part of, my wife and I have you are. teamed on um, with um, the Lymphoma Leukemia Society. We're part of the men and women uh, campaign of the year. Sir Charles Carey, who is a two-time cancer survivor, is the team leader for this. But we want you to know that you can participate in sponsoring someone or even donate. Any amount really helps. Yes. We have a couple pictures. If you're looking no at this flyer, too small. you're looking at this picture, we have a four, I think, and a five-year-old yes. young people that have been value. touched by leukemia, lymphoma. Listen. Be a part of doing something amazing, yes. impacting not yes. only your lives, your children's life, because blood cancers are real. Yes. And they're doing patient's care. They're doing research. And listen, we're doing this because we want to be a part of something to help somebody else. Somebody else is dealing with this particular disease mm -hmm. or diseases. So please come out and check us out. Again, LLS, check us out. Check my website out. You can, again... You we, can, we need your email address so that we can send you the email that will have the flyer on there as well as all the details. Um, the, your, 
Whatever you donate goes directly to the Lymphoma Leukemia Society. So, so we um, can send you the link to donate. Yes, we'll send it, you the We don't link. touch any money. We'll email you the link. Yes. And um, um, Sir Charles is, is lymphoma um, survivor. So um, this, this, this is going to be awesome. There's a gala on June the 1st. So if you'd like to come to the gala, if you have a business and you would like your business promoted throughout the U.S., yes. then you want to put an ad in the souvenir booklet that's going to be at the gala. So, which is also probably going to be online. But you definitely want to, because they're going to acknowledge everybody who is uh, um, who's placing an ad. So you definitely want to yes. um, give us your email address. We'll make sure, you know, because we want your business to grow, you know. So um, make sure that you place your ad, or you can just give a donation any size, it doesn't matter. Yes, it's any, going any, to help anything counts. Because with, these, all with these cancers, what um, some people don't realize is that um, not all the medical, not all your medical coverage covers it. Not all your medical insurance, insurance covers, covers it. it. So um, you need help. So when you give to these these cancer societies, that's you know that's just tremendous. When somebody is in need, yes. you know, like this year they're sponsoring four year old Grant and five year old Lucia. And, you know, it, it's, it's bad enough that, you know, adults get cancer, but then you got children getting cancer, you know, and, cancers, and these, yes. and, you know, cancer is just not, it's not fun. Let's keep that's Let's keep that real. Let me give um, you this last tip mm -hmm. for my wife. Stop. 3,627 young adults and children were diagnosed with a blood cancer last year. Mm -hmm. 3,600, I believe, 27. So listen, let's be a part of this. Yes. Do something phenomenal because you're phenomenal people. Yes. And we want to continue to help people that are battling blood cancers. Thank you again. Have a great, great day. All right. Now we want to move on to our thank you. So I'm gonna, we want to first of all thank God for just giving us this platform. Yes. We want to thank um, Lionel Green and the WBG, our staff here at the radio station. We want to thank our prayer warriors. We want to add Magic Me Family Worship Center. Um, and, and everywhere else that, that we're connected to. We want to thank our sponsors and our supporters. And we want to thank those who are listening in, tuning in, and also sharing it. Share it. Have a watch party, you know, with your friends and your family. You know, especially if we say something that you know will benefit somebody that, you know, that's in a blended family and they may, may need some help, by all means, share it. Um, you can feel free if you have any questions during this whole production this show, you can if you have any questions, you can contact us at 301-429-9247. Yes. Or if that line is busy, <laughs> then call us on 301-306-7284, okay? We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to answer your question or, um, you know, if you have a statement or something that you want to add, then by all means. Or if there's a show topic you know that you think is very important or that something that your family is going through and we haven't addressed it yet i'm quite sure we will get to it however if you if there's something that yeah. you feel like you know is going on in your blended family and you'd like that addressed then by all means you know inbox us inbox, inbox us inbox or, us on facebook yeah inbox us and and, and let us know you and know let can us you know. do a show on xyz you know because we're willing and, to do it. Yeah, we're willing absolutely. to bring everything absolutely. we have. Whatever we can to do help to help. You. That's what this show yes. is for. This this show is to build up your blended family and to help yes. your blended family soar. Okay? All right. So, topic of today's show is what are you speaking into your blended family? Yeah, that's, you know, honey, I think the reality is, is that we all have the power to breathe in our families. Yes. Life or death. Yes. You know, there's a scripture that said in Proverbs 18, 21, um, you have the power in, is in your tongue mm -hmm. to speak life or death. Yeah. And so what we want to talk about today, we want to talk about what are you speaking to your blended family? You know, yes. the amazing thing, and we hear things about the process, you know, it takes process, but you know, whatsoever you speak out of your mouth it goes into the atmosphere Absolutely. of your blended family and going to the atmosphere of your job mm -hmm. if you speak things that are not healthy mm -hmm. then you can expect it's going to hit the atmosphere it's going to transfer to your children to your new husband your new wife and so today we want to give you some tips some points we want to talk about how important it is to communicate things that bring forth life and bring forth 
love. And so today we want to talk about those things. The last thing I'll say for my wife jump in is that we know communication has been designated as 55% body language, 38% tone, and 7% actual words spoken. So we have 7% of words we speak. That's not a lot. So we got to make it count. We got to make sure that we're speaking things that allow our blended families to thrive and not to just sit there surviving. Okay? So listen, we're going forward. We're going to have a blast today. How about that, sugar? <laughs> Let's talk about the first thing. All right. So are you speaking and breathing things that bring you that bring life into your family are you speaking and breathing things that bring life into your family such as encouragement yeah let's let's deal with encouragement mm -hmm. because the opposite of encouragement mm -hmm. is discouragement, discouragement. Mm -hmm. and i know sometimes you know we're not looking for a perfect blended family we're not trying to talk about having a perfect blended family because there's no perfect quote unquote blended family in the earth no but, perfect family at all but what we can do by being part of this amazing system, family system, and that we can start <laughs> speaking things that allow encouragement to override the discouragement. Yeah. We always talk about blended families start from a loss or chaos or disconnection yeah. or sadness. But guess what? You have to make sure that you are doing something every day mm -hmm. to speak encouragement to your husband, your Absolutely. wife, your bonus children, your biological children. See, we have to start training our minds in reading about words that lift, reading about yes. words that motivate, reading yes. about words so we can plant it in the blended family. Yes, and this 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 family system, it you know, as far as encourage, you need all the encouragement you can get. Yeah, you know, this world can be so negative at times, and so if your kids are going yes. to school and they're being bullied, or your kids are. Or, you know, going out or you're going on your job, you know, y'all dealing with a lot of negativity and stuff. You know, it's so essential to have your home here on this earth be like a heaven on earth. You know, that should be your your sanctuary, your tranquility, you know. That should be, you know, where where, where y'all come home and there is there's some good things going on. There's some positive things going on, you know. You don't want gloom and doom all day long, <laughs> no. every day, you know, because the, no, your family not yeah. going to make it if you do that, you know? So, so encouragement. It's important to be encouraged. So here's the thing. And encourage each other. Here's the thing about encouragement. Mm -hmm. A smile can be a nonverbal yes. encouragement. A kind word can be a word of encouragement. Like, yes. how are you today? I hope in my prayer for your day to day, son or daughter, husband or wife, that you will have a wonderful day because you are a wonderful person. Yes. You know, my wife and I, when we counsel people, couples, we ask, what about homework assignments is to get three to five words of affirmation, of words that uplift, words that encourage, words that build, Absolutely. words that create an environment Absolutely. to where you feel good about yourself. And you're going to hold hands. My wife said, hold hands, hands. and you're then you look, look into each, their face. You're going to look each other in, in the, the face eye. And say something and you're gonna wonderful, say something three affirming. Things affirming to that person. It's so and encouragement. They're going to say three things affirming to you. And see, with the busyness of our lives and with all the challenges and obstacles we deal with as a family, as a human being, as a single person, as a married couple, we need to have some locked in words. That when we speak them, we speak them with passion. Yes. We speak them with authority. Mean it. You know, from and the so heart. The atmosphere can be set by how you say it. Your tone. Say it with a loving and a, an empowering tone. Look into their eyes. Mm -hmm. Look into your children. I say, I'm encouraging you today. You may not did well on that test last week, but guess what? Next time. You're gonna have another test and you're gonna blow it out blow the park. Out. You're That's gonna right. knock it out of the stadium. Yes. And so I'm excited today because I know how powerful words, words are. are. I know I can breathe life mm -hmm. into a situation yes. if I have the mindset and the heart. You know, and so encouragement is one word. The what next is word is love. love. Now one of the things that I've realized about being in a blended family, when you start a blended family, you may not love everybody in there. Mm -hmm. But if you practice love, if you make an intentional effort towards practicing love and speaking love, I love you. Why do I love you? Because you are someone special. 
Why do I love you? Because you're part of my family, whether you're my bonus child or whether you're my biological child, whether you're my bonus mom, a bonus dad. Now, listen, I'm not crazy. My wife and I are not crazy. We recognize <laughs> that it takes time to build the love. Absolutely. It takes time to create an environment of love. But if you start off, first of all, one of the things you should find out is what does love mean to you? Yes. Find out what love means to you. Yes. And then you begin to share that with your children, begin to share that with your new family members. And if you do it habitually mm -hmm. every day or every other day, it becomes a part of your loving ritual, if you will. Not religiously, but have the right spirit or the right mindset to say, I love you. I love you because you're great. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, sugar. Um, so, and to add on to that, um, love becomes infectious. Yeah, okay. I like that it word. It grows. It grows. Like the more you do, it and it's, a, it's an action word. So the more you, the more you display it in your actions, the more it'll grow in your family. And then the next thing you know, everybody else will be doing it yeah. as well. Definitely. And you know another thing about love. Love is looking to attach yourself to something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why not attach it to my brother and my sister? Why not attach it yes. to my new husband, my yes. new wife? Why not attach it to my bio and my bonus grandparents? Mm -hmm. Because let me tell you something. Again, we're going to always talk about love on this show because I don't think we understand the power of love. It's powerful. You know, love, one scripture Nothing said love like covers it. a multitude of sins yes. or, or missteps or yes. mishaps yes. that we have in this interpersonal relationship in the blended family. Listen, I am so frustrated because we are not learning how to use the thing that we really have we have love mm. listen it may not start off loving the the, the the biological children may not love their their bonus brother or sister but if you continue to display it in action and in words yes. love here's the most powerful thing about love it's only a four-letter word mm -hmm. you don't have to be articulate mm -hmm. in adept to say in love. Just say, I love you. And the more you say it, it starts going in your brain, in your mouth, coming out your mouth, it gets in your heart. Mm -hmm. And like my wife said, it becomes infectious. Mm -hmm. Not like a disease that can harm you, but like a, a, a metaphor that can cause your whole family mm -hmm. to see it and smell it. Yes. Can't you smell love today? I can <laughs> smell it when I look at her. I don't have to say, I just smell looking at this pretty girl. I said, Lord, I love you. And when we say, we love to life. We don't yes. love to death. We love to life. We love to life because yes. we're speaking life. Yes. With our love. Yes. Go ahead, babe. The next yes. one. All right. So the next one is hope. Wow. Talk about hope a minute. So hope is when you, you may not see something right now, but when you think about it in a positive manner and when you keep speaking that it's going to happen, you keep believing that it's going to happen, yeah. eventually it's going to happen. So it's believing in something that you have don't have the evidence of yet. And hope is anticipation. Yes. That something phenomenal is going to happen yes. regardless of the traditions. Yes. Regardless of what you had in your past family situation or your past family traditions. Absolutely. You're causing it, my word coming, to pivot, pivot. towards hope. And see, hope revealed <laughs> is so amazing and yes. so magnanimous, mm -hmm. if you will, mm -hmm. that it touches everything that you do. Even when everything doesn't look like, you still have that spark of hope <laughs> that this blended family is going to rise. This yes. blended family is going to learn how to care for one another and to yes. love one. And guess what? Your blended family is not going to go down, but it's going to go up. Uh, it's going to be like eagles that begin to soar and to fly yes. at the highest peak. But you got to believe in that hope. Mm -hmm. Even though it may start off rocky. Yes. Even though it may start off where everybody is tense. Mm -hmm. But if you begin to hope, mm -hmm. I believe that hope is one of the key ingredients Absolutely. in developing a blended family that will always measure up to what you deserve to have. Absolutely. You deserve to have hope. Yes. And even when people try to steal your hope, still have hope and start speaking hope. Mm -hmm. You know, the more we speak stuff, speak it. is the more we believe it. Absolutely. You know, they say if you speak things when I was in school, the repetition of words, the repetitions of sentences, the begin it begins to lock into your psyche. Yes. It begins to lock into your spirit. It begins to lock. I believe no matter what. Mm -hmm. I have hope 
that things won't get better. Even if it don't show you at first, even though you may have children that are struggling with different things, if you have hope and let them know, baby, I have hope yes. that things are going to turn out yes. great. I have hope that your situation is going to turn around, yes. that your grades are going to get better. Yes. I have hope that you're going to do the right thing. I have hope that we're going to have an amazing family. So hope is an anticipation yes. in the face of discouragement, right. in the face of turmoil. Mm -hmm. I still have hope. hope. What about you? If you mm -hmm. speak hope, Hope begin to saturate the atmosphere. Yes, it does. Begin to saturate your kitchen table. Mm -hmm. Begin to saturate the family room, the basement. Mm -hmm. That things are going to be better. Mm -hmm. Hope. Absolutely. In the blended family. What are you speaking? Well, That's the question. Well. All right, sugar. All next right. One. So now we want positive versus negative. Yeah. Um, this is a really serious phrase or statement. Mm -hmm. Are the words that you're speaking right now mm -hmm. to your children, even though they may be messing up, mm -hmm. even though your husband and wife, y'all may be in a disagreement, mm -hmm. do you allow the negative to overcome the positive? Do you allow the negative to snuff out the life mm -hmm. of the positive? Positive means that we had a rough time. Yes. But guess what? Mm -hmm. We will get through this because I'm speaking positive life mm -hmm. into this situation. This situation is not life-threatening. So I believe that it's about to That's turn right. around for our good. That's you know right. why I believe? Because I have the capacity to be optimistic. Yes. And that's what positive speaking is. Now. I'm optimistic. Regardless if is. the car got in the accident, the tires are flat, I know that the insurance company is going to take care of it. I know that things are going to get better because I'm very optimistic. I'm not saying that you should not feel down sometimes. But what I'm saying, though, if you begin to speak positive words that we are going to rise up out of this situation. Our blended family is going to change. It's not going to be like my, my mother's blended family or my uncle's blended family. Even though they struggle, even though they displayed the negativity, I'm going to speak optimism in my situation, mm -hmm. in my blended family, because here's what I want to do. I want to prepare my children to be able to have a positive outlook because it's your, really your perception. If you perceive there's going to be negative, then it will. If you overcome your negative with positive and belief and words that are cheerful, words that, again, are uplifting, words that bring life and not death. So what are you speaking today? Mm -hmm. Because the situation is jacked up. Mm -hmm. Are you giving in to the situation? Are you giving in to the news? Are you giving in to what's on the Internet? Are you giving in to what's on YouTube? Are you giving in what people are saying about you? They may say a lot of negative things about you, but it doesn't mean that it's true. How do you change in your blended family, in your family, a negative situation around? You become the first partaker of the fruit. And guess what? Most people that are negative, they don't want to hear from you because they don't like you being optimistic because the situation don't look optimistic. It don't, it don't smell optimistic. It don't taste optimistic. It tastes all the other side of that, which is pessimistic. And let me tell you, some of you are pessimistic. They say, believe in the worst and you won't get disappointed. Listen, that's foolishness. I'm never going to believe in the worst. Because what it tells you, if you believe in the worst, you won't get let down anymore. No, I'm going to believe in the best. I'm going to believe in the best in my new wife, my new children, because I want to see the best. And I want to be that conduit of positive breath. How about that, Now, baby? most people, to piggyback my husband, most people that are negative, they don't want you to be negative with them. They don't want to say, you know, uh, uh, they want negative, you to be negative, words, with them. Ne negative words to them. Right. They just want to be able to say it to you. Most of them can dish it out, but they can't take it. Wow. So don't be that person that you dishing out all this negativity. And then when somebody, when the response is negative, then you're appalled or you can't handle it. Or, oh, I've never. Yeah. You know. yeah. Um, and once, and once negative <laughs> words are out, once negative words are out in the open, you, you can't, can't touch get them back. back. You can't get them back. You can't retrieve them. So, so. Um, you know, and, and people can get past negative words, even when you apologize, they can get past them, but they won't ever forget. Yeah, they won't forget. They'll get they can get past it, but they won't forget that you could that you were able to go there or you were capable of going there and being nasty or negative to them. So be careful with your words. 
Because your children are listening. You know what? Kids are even before they get two years old. They already have the capacity to listen to what you say to them. They might can't say what you're saying, but they are already allowing this to get into their soul. They're allowing this to get into their minds. They're allowing this to get into their spirit. That's why you need to be careful what your children are watching, are and, listening to. And they will repeat it. Oh, yeah, kids. Now, you, you at kids home. Kids tape recorders. You at home and you using all this foul language and negativity at them kids. And let me tell you something. They will go to school. And they'll and, repeat it. And repeat it. Mommy and daddy then said this. you're going to be upset when the teacher or the principal call you to tell you <laughs> what they're saying when they got it from you. And you know, you know, here's the thing. There's an old proverb. I'm not saying this is in the Bible, but I said this is a proverb. It said the windows, your, your eyes are the windows to your soul. Yes. And the ears are. And my thought, this is my thought, I, I'm, I'm not pinning this from nobody else. Mm -hmm. Your ears are the threshold to your heart mm -hmm. and your spirit. Mm -hmm. I just came up with that today. Thank you, God. Mm -hmm. Your ears are the threshold to your heart. Mm -hmm. So what we hear, it goes into our heart. It may stop off in our brain, but it, it filters down to our heart. That's why as a man think of in he that is his soul. Mm -hmm. As a man thinketh, and he, and I'm paraphrasing that, as a man thinketh, so is he. And so if you're listening to things, and if you're allowing things that are negative and things that don't bring forth, like we talk about hope, love, and encouragement, what is it bringing? What is the cause? Because we're talking about cause and effect of what we're speaking. And sometimes you really don't see the effect until it is triggered in a situation where tenseness is or where there is an argument. But we heard this. This is what you said. And people, listen, negative news will hit the airways a lot quicker <laughs> than positive news or uplifting news. Look at our community. Are they it. talking about our kids that are graduating this year, cum laude and sum laude and valedictorian in our high schools and in our colleges with these great academic accolades? Are they talking about that on the news, on the major news? No, they're talking about what's happening negatively. They're talking about what's happening in the community that's running down the community, that's destroying the community because it hits the airways quick. Just like when we talk on the phone and we gossip about people, Ooh. we talk negative about people, and Come we run people now. down, it hits the airways yes. so much quicker than when we're lifting people yes. up, when we're encouraging people, and we're letting them know how great they are, how phenomenal they are, how magnanimous they are. Yes. Are we talking things that cause them to soar? Come on, now. Are we bringing them down mm. by what we say out of their mouth? See, I got, a, I got an automatic built-in system that when you start talking Turn negative, off. I automatically hit the toggle switch. You know Come what it is? Now. The light goes That's off. Right. I'm clicking you off. You're still talking, but I have clicked you off because words. you're not building. You're not encouraging. <laughs> you're not increasing. You're decreasing. And guess what? You don't have the ability to decrease or the right to decrease my value. So I got to speak words of life. Mm -hmm. We got 30 a minute, mm -hmm. man. Go ahead. What else you All got? All right. So are you guarding what's being spoken into you and your children's lives? Woo! Can do versus can't do. Wow. That's powerful. That's very powerful. Are we, are we, are we listening to what people are speaking to our kids? Can you, Whether it's, go can, ahead. can you do it? Or can't you do it? Or can't you do it? Or why you can't do it? Or why you can't do it? Mm. Are we dealing with that from the right perspective in our blended families? Now, how many people have we heard that are famous, you know, and they, and they, and, and, and a lot of them say, you know, I had this teacher and told me that I wasn't going to do this and I wasn't, I, I wasn't going to be nothing. I didn't have potential and I wasn't going to be this. And, and then what happened? What yeah, happened? Go ahead. Now they're known all over the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? So stop speaking negativity in your life. Stop in people's lives. And everybody has a learning curve. Everybody yes. learns differently. So some people learn by what they see. Yeah, some baby. people can read and learn and get it right off the bat, you know. But everybody doesn't do everybody doesn't re, um, learn like that. So you just have to figure out how your child learns and make sure that the teachers know, okay, my child's a visual learner. So They'll know, okay, since that child is a visual learner, let me give them some exercises that are, yeah. you know, the same curriculum, but the same yes. curriculum, but there they go. 
You know what I mean? It's, it's you know, it's, and, and they will be able to learn in that way. So um, at this point, we're going to take a, we're going to stop. Take a we're break. Take a quick yes, break. We fired up. A quick commercial break. So hope you enjoy this quick commercial. Thank you again. And we'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Stay tuned. <laughs> Don't turn that dial. Because we got some. Hey, everybody. Michelle Mangum coming to you with a commercial break. Just want to let you know about our books. Um, this book right here is called Blending to Make It, Ingredients for a Successful Blended Family. Now, this book is the book that has three principles in it, practical, therapeutic, and spiritual. Let me tell you something. If you want your blended family to mesh well together, to blend well together, then this is the book for you. Now, everybody that has read this book, they've comment, made comments on it, and the people that Who's, who followed the principles in the book. Their families are doing great now. Let me tell you something. We're going to be coming out of a, with a book towards the end of the year that's going to be featuring all those blended family success stories, okay? So stay tuned for that. This book, From the Incubator to the Kingdom, is a book that if you had a troubled past and you have, you know, you're, you're struggling with getting getting from that past or moving forward, this book right here is the book for you. This book will encourage you, it will uplift you, and it will cause you to be free. This book right here, let me tell you something. If you had a troubled past, this is the book that you need for encouragement. At some point in time this summer, we have a collaborative book that's going to be coming out. Straight talk about the Blender family keeping it 100. We drop it in this book, okay? We drop it raw in this book. So... Um, this is a collaborative effort from me and my husband, Doc D, the Blended Family Specialist. And you stay tuned for this book because this book right here is going to let anybody know what to expect in the Blended Family. So if you're not in the Blended Family and you plan to get in one, this book right here is going to let you know all the ins and outs about the Blended Family. It's going to be encouraging though. So stay tuned for this book that's going to drop this summer. Now listen. Um, we want to thank you so much for tuning in to our, our WBGR Health and Wellness Show. Straight talk about the blended family. If you want to get in, if you want to get one of these books, you can get it on Barnes and Nobles. You can get it on Amazon. There's some other um, outlets that you can get it on, but there's so many that I that I can't list all of them right now in this commercial break. But you can reach out to my husband at Doctor Blend One, the number one D R B L E N D One at gmail.com or me simply peachy m m at gmail.com that's s-i-m-p-l-y p-e-a-c-h-y m m at gmail.com and we will be more than happy to meet up with you if you want to sign book in, in person okay so god bless you thank you so much for tuning in share it with your friends Welcome back. We took a break, but listen, we still fired up. I know they had to put some water on me because I'm so fired up about this, what you speak, <laughs> can do or can't do. Because listen, I grew up in Alexander, Virginia, and I may not have been the best athlete or none of those things, but I had people to speak, try to speak to me what I couldn't do because my dreams and my expectations was bigger than theirs. And people will do that. So you have to guard your children. Your, ch your child may want to be an astronaut. Your child may want to open up their own business. And maybe they're Absolutely. 10, maybe they're 15. And we got people speaking and say, well, I never did that, so I don't know if you can do that. You know the society, because how we look on the outside may not accept us going and doing something that's exceptional. So they will try to speak and destroy that dream or destroy that hope. But guess what? You as a parent, whether you're in a blended family, not guess what you need to make sure that you guard what you're allowing people to tell your kids what they can't do and guess yes. what they tell them that you what they can't do you refute it and tell them what they can do i read somewhere that i can do all things through christ which strengthen me i can do all things and so my reality is for me is that i never allow people to speak negative of what our kids cannot do. No, don't ever tell your kids or the people in your family what they cannot do in this blended family. They may have failed 700 times, but guess what? Let them get back up and speak and breathe into them what they can do. What you think and, about that, Sugar? I think that also keep in mind, don't allow your frailties or if you know what your where you lack where you lack short at. Don't allow your frailties or what 
you know what didn't happen for you um stop you from encouraging your kids to do because wow. it may not have been your season Wow. It may not have been your time. Some things take time. Yes. And it might not have worked for you at the time that you tried, but that does not mean that God was not going to bless your child to do it. Because guess what? You have the capacity as that parent, bio, a bonus to cause the atmosphere to shift. Absolutely. By what you say out of this mouth. You know, the tongue is the smallest organ. Ooh. But on the us. deadliest. But it can have the most deadliest, Ooh. crucial, negative impact Absolutely. and influence on our kids. Listen, Absolutely. we're not trying to motivate you to do something that's not in you. We're trying to awaken. Because What's some of you, you have not done things Come because on. you've listened to people tell you what you can't do or yes. tell you that you're too old. Yes. Or because you didn't do well in this subject or that subject, you Come can't on. go back to college. That is not what you yes, should you be listening can. to. You, you can, can do whatever you want to yes, do. You, you just need to change your mindset and yes. you need to change what you're listening to. Again, remember, your ear is the threshold to your heart. Mm -hmm. If you govern and guard your heart yes. with the right things, and let me tell you something, change your company yes. if your company is always talking about man i'm complaining about this Woo. this particular culture or that particular Weighing culture they holding the me down and uh -oh. i can't never get ahead no first of all stop speaking what you can't do i can get ahead i just need to regroup refocus re-strategize yes. what i'm doing because sometimes it's not about what people have said to you it's about what you believe absolutely you believe that you could not do this or that and see you it's filtering down to your children yes because we speak and sometimes you don't even hear know your children are listening to you talk about this pessimistic attitude i know a lot of people in our lives and my wife and our life they've been pessimistic and i tell people all the time Thank you very much. I appreciate you making that perception or even your opinion. But your opinion doesn't line up with what I've been aligned to do. Something mm -hmm. phenomenal, something great. No, I'm not talking about being arrogant. I'm talking about speaking into my atmosphere yes. and speaking life. Because I need to speak those things that are not as though they were. He's talking about being confident. Yes. Not arrogant, confident. And, and, and so when There's you start speaking what you can do yes. and your kids pick it up, that's why they don't listen to people now to tell them what they can never accomplish, what they can never be. And let's guess what? I tell our kids, you can be a scientist, you can be an astronaut, Absolutely. you can be a mathematician, you can be one of the greatest, greatest orators Absolutely. in the earth to speak out loud. And you don't want to stump a child's growth. You don't want to stump a child's growth by telling them what yes. they cannot do. Yes. You know, even if it looks like they might not be the smartest bulb on the tree. That just means that they have a different way of learning. They have a different learning curve. So find out what their learning curve is and then watch them pick it up and run with that thing. They Let will soar. <laughs> they will become something great. It can happen. You just have to believe it. Here's another thing, too. Now, I know I'm going to mess up some people. <laughs> mess them up. Let me mess you up. <laughs> mess them up, buddy. When people tell you that your, ki your children, the school systems... Tell you that your child has a learning disability, check that out. But if they want to put your child or children on medicine, don't be quick to believe that. Yeah. Because some of our kids are very artistic, A-R-T. And some of them learn differently. And because the person that they're teaching them is not capable of reaching their scholarly mindset, then we put them in all this medication. We slow them down. Yes. We need to calm them down. First of all, you, you, them. you know, and that's what we do. That's crazy. But let me tell you something. I want you to know to speak up for your child. I don't know why I'm going there. Go to the PTA <laughs> meetings. Go to the PTL meetings and speak up for your son or daughter. Your son or daughter is not, doesn't need to be in special education. You were never in special education. And here's the deal. Speak to your child that they're not dumb or they're not illiterate That's or right. they not poverty stricken academically are in their mind. Let them know that they can do whatever they set their minds to. You just need to spend some time to find out what their talents and what their gifts are so that they can shift yes. or pivot towards their amazing destiny yes. and their amazing greatness. Yes. So what they can do is everything that they want to do. And I'm going to put them in a place to be successful. 
My wife and I really believe that. Yes, we if do. If we start speaking stuff in the atmosphere that it's not healthy, mm -hmm. we automatically believe it's not healthy. We automatically believe we're never going to get out. And it might not happen right away, but yes. it will happen eventually. You just got to keep pushing. You got to keep you gotta on You got to be an Olympian. You know, you got to train for that thing. You got to learn it. And once you learn it and, and train for it and get that craft, trust me, it will come. It will happen. Let me, let me say this real quick, babe, before mm -hmm. you go on. I watched this weekend, I watched the Masters Tournament. You know the Masters of Golf Tournament in Augustus, Georgia? Mm -hmm. Tiger Woods. I don't know how many times people told him he would never rise up again. That's he right. would never win a major again or never be such a cop-less again. But guess what? He won. This past he Sunday. Won. He won the Masters Tournament, yes. his 15th major That's right. after 11 years. <laughs> what I'm saying to you, he had to go through surgeries and pain. Let me tell you yeah. something. He just and ridicule. inspired me and ridiculed. And, and ridiculed. Yeah, we know he made mistakes. We know what he did. Okay, mm -hmm. you can stay back there with what he did. I never harped on it. My wife never harped on it because here's the reality of it. Mm -hmm. When you have persistence and yeah. believe and have hope yeah. and love, and he loves the game of golf. And he yes. got back out there. And those people was just enamored yes. by his capacity <laughs> to do what he did. And he shut up all the naysayers for the last 11 years that did not believe. That, and I'm telling you, many people spoke to him. Mm. Whether it was on the news or whether it was Twitter. Will Tiger win? How he's going to do with the Masters? Mm -hmm. all right. He won. Exactly. So, um... That's just triumphant. That's what winners do. Okay. They keep, they keep but, getting back but, up. But your family, your child, you all have a winner in you. Sometimes yes. it's just laying dormant. It has to be awakened. But you all have greatness in you. So, do you control what's spoken into the atmosphere? Do you control it? Life over death. Life over death. Love over hate. Go ahead, babe. Acceptance over rejection. Acceptance over rejection. Calm over chaos, joy over sadness. Our respect over disrespect. Let, let's break this down for y'all. Do you have the capacity to control what's spoken in the atmosphere, or do you buy into what the atmosphere is telling you to buy into? <laughs> I'm not one of those persons. I'm going to speak those things that are not as though they were. I'm yes. going to speak life. Yes. I'm going to speak love over hate. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak calm over chaos. Don't you know that if you start, when there's a chaotic situation, if you start speaking the calm, it's going to be calm. It's about to get calm. Yes. I know we having some tension. It's about to be calm because yes. you get calm. Positive over negative. You lower your tone. Come on. And you start breathing easier. Yes. Guess what? The person that's in chaos won't stay in chaos long. That's right. You just shifted the atmosphere. That's right. Yes, you have the power to do that, but you got to be in control. You have to regain your composure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Respect over disrespect. Mm -hmm. If they try to disrespect you, you respect yourself first, and then you tell them why I respect myself. Mm -hmm. Because I have all these positive and uplifting attributes. And calmly tell them, you know, I don't appreciate how you're speaking to me. You exactly. know what I mean? Like, you don't have to, you know, because you a person can't argue by themselves. I mean, they can, but, you know, they're going to feel foolish after a minute. Well, yeah, they're, they're going to be nuts, so. <laughs> they're going to feel foolish after a minute. So if you, but if, you know, so if it, it doesn't grow into an argument or become some big blown out thing, if you don't feed into the negativity of it, if you don't combat negativity with negativity no you have to combat negativity with positivity okay you just sit there and relax and okay are you done now yeah and, <laughs> you and know I mean? your tone are you, are you done now and then they're gonna be like yeah your tone changes <laughs> i believe your tone <laughs> feel foolish. I'm changes you. the atmosphere it does if you don't accept their tone and make their their tone your tone are you reactive or are you proactive in the midst of the heat of the battle yeah i know it takes time i know it takes a lot to do that but guess what won't you start being the first particular of the fruit yes. and change the atmosphere that Come you in? Now. Let me tell you something. If you're in a meeting in your office and people going on and they're complaining, and you know what? Here's what I would suggest. Recommendation real quick. If everybody complained about the job and the supervisor and the managers, that may be true. But you know what? Guess what? I'm blessed that I have this job. I'm thankful that this company yes. hired me. Everything yes. may not be perfect. But I'm grateful to have an opportunity to impact lives, to impact this business yes. in a positive, uplifting way. Don't you know? They would say, wow, that's just them. They're just crazy. You know what? 
You just mm -hmm. shifted the atmosphere Absolutely. from the negativity and the ugliness Absolutely. to being pretty or handsome Absolutely. and to being positive. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely. We don't take authority Wonderful. over stuff too much. We just sit there and take Ooh. it and accept it and say, this is how it is. Come you know what now. we say? This is what we say. It is what it is. It, is what it, it very is. well may be, but I'm not going to let that stay what it is if I'm involved. That's right. It can change. I'm going to change it the atmosphere. Change. I'm going to change what goes out of my mouth. Come on. You may not like it. You may not agree with it, but here's the reality. <laughs> I control what I want to be in most of the time by what I speak out of my mouth and what I believe in my heart and what I listen to in my ear. <laughs> Go ahead, babe. Are you speaking future success over everyone in your blended family? Mm. Confidence over uncertainty. Well, wow, just stay right there for a minute. Yeah. Because a lot of times we don't understand what success is. <laughs> Let me tell you what the world has dictated, our society has dictated, mm -hmm. that we have big houses, a lot of cars, mm -hmm. a lot of this and a lot of that. Materialism. And I'm not saying that does not has a signet of success, mm -hmm. but it really has a small measure of signet of success. It doesn't because, make you who you are. That's because, not who your personality because is. Because what we've been through to get to obtain those things, yes. are we obtaining those things so we can show people that we're successful? Are we obtaining those Come things on. to let people know that if I can obtain it mm -hmm. doing the right thing and doing the legal thing, then you can. Then you can obtain it. Mm -hmm. And then I don't want to be someone that don't share my successes with my family. Yes. I want to sit down and tell my kids how I did this and how I did that and how they can do it. Now, they're going to have to have the right mindset, the right the right work ethic, mm -hmm. and the right integrity. So, honey, yes. are you saying you want to leave a legacy? Got to leave a legacy Ooh. of successful thinking that has been brought down and breathed on my family. Yes. Successful mentally, successful yes. Spiritually, mm -hmm. successful physically, mm -hmm. successful emotionally. See, look at all these components. We see success is yeah, not yeah, just yeah, yeah. one component. Success has a diversity yes, of does. components and ingredients. Mm -hmm. And guess what? If we start speaking it and live it and believe it and wear it and enjoy it yes. and flaunt it in a special kind way, yes. then our kids will say, wow. And when your kids when you believe it your kids will start believing it and when and your wow. spouse will start believing it and once you once once that happens i'm telling you it's going to be fantastic you're going to sit back and you're going to be like wow look at my family store and guess what let me say we this. weren't there when we started out we started out kind of it rough. was rough it was <laughs> you know it was that, ugly that, in this blending that, family that, that, that blending you know part was a little rough it, was, you it know. was tough but look what it turned into most relationships i believe this most successful relationships mm -hmm. had to go through some turmoil yes. to reach that success. <laughs> Failure, I oh, believe, damn. is the springboard That's right. to success. Yes. If you haven't had no missteps, if you haven't had any bumps in the road, mm -hmm. if you haven't had any dis disappointments or heartbreaks <laughs> and get back up and have somebody get you back up to pick you back up, don't sell your children a bad bill of goods That's right. or a false bill of goods. That's Let right. them know they're going to have some tough times. That's Let right. them know people will disappoint them. That's Let right. them know that they will fail. And realize that we all have a purpose on this earth. And we yes. all have a purpose. God put it in you. He put it in every single one of you, whether it's your child or not. You got some 10-year-olds that have their own business. They're they doing cupcakes. They making bow ties or, or, or straight ties. They doing all kinds of stuff. Let me, I'm going to share this. I didn't ask you could I share it, but I need to share this. Go, go ahead. Okay. When my wife and I go got married uh -huh. at our wedding day, uh -huh. a lot of dysfunction took place. Yes. You know, her dresses wasn't done for her and the bridesmaids. Uh -huh. um, and they had to wear, some of them had to wear their jeans and their shirts. And, you know, a lot of stuff was dysfunctioning. And then we, we supposed to had a picnic. You know, and it and, rained, and, it rained and, and somebody said to me, y'all probably shouldn't have got married because your marriage is not going to be successful. Let me just tell you, folk, <laughs> after 15 years of being in a blended family marriage, we are successful. We're not talking about the materialistic thing. Now, we have some success materialistically, but we're talking about the interpersonal things, Absolutely. the things that are intangible Absolutely. that we, because guess what? Absolutely. We're leaving a legacy yes. that if you continue to stay together, have the right ideas, be on one accord, 
enjoy one another, love one another, yes. speak life to one another, yes. speak positive Build things to one another, up. and always hold each other up. Come on. When one when somebody else is falling, you go pick them pick up. Them up. You know, don't let them lay there. Yes. When your children are having a bad day, pick them up. When your husband or wife are having a bad day, pick them up. When because your grandkids are having a bad day, when the grandparents are having a Come tough on. time trying to adjust to this blended family, go let them know why God put you in this blended family right. so that you can be something special, so that you yes. can be something incredible. Yes. Listen, the reality is... That now we're looking almost 15 years. I'm having a blast with this beautiful <laughs> young lady, with our blended family children, our blended family grandchildren, our blended family um, 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 in-laws. Here's the reality. Because we continue to speak life. into one another's yes. life, life and hope. Yes. and love and encouragement yes. i'm not saying we haven't had a little bumps in the road not major bumps at all because we don't get mm -hmm. caught up in the major bumps. No, we don't because what we realize my wife always say that if it's not, not life threatening, threatening then we're not going to put a lot of energy it's into it really so i wanted to let you know that if you continue to speak mm -hmm. the life-giving principles that you know Continue and start reading things that are uplifting yes. and inspirational. Read yes. a poem. You know, read read a quote. Mm -hmm. You know, read the Bible. Okay, let's not get that, that far ahead. But, oh, uh, I'm too so, far? Yeah, yeah. How I get too far? You're right here. You're down here. I'm not there. Not uh, you there. thought I was there, but yeah. I wasn't there. Yeah, you're right here. You thought I was there, yeah. I wasn't there. You, you right assume. There. I guess I so. I know you, sweetheart. I know. Listen, I know my husband, okay? She you said she know me. Yeah, That's he, a good thing. He was jumping too far ahead. Okay, so we got one more thing before we go into all that. <laughs> we got eight uh, minutes, too. We so we got I know. That's why I'm, 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 I'm glad flowing. you okay. stopped me, girl. So go ahead with your bad make, stuff. Make, we have a recommendation. Make a list of empowering words or phrases that speak life over your family. Ooh, and over your wife and husband. And say one or two, one to three of them every day. To everyone in your blended family, or if, if those you don't know what a blended family is, it's a non-biological step family, whatever you, however you want to call it. Um, it's based uh, on relationship, not blood. Yes. Um, speak over your bonus biological family, okay? So here are some examples that we want to leave you um, just to encourage everybody in your family. You're yeah. speaking life, okay? You're, you're speaking things that are... That you want to happen. And it okay? will come into You're fruition. You're hope in this. Okay. Yes. So the first one. You are brilliant. When you look brilliant. at your children. Despite what their grades say. Despite yes. what their struggles academically. Mm -hmm. Despite what their struggles on their job. Or if they have to take an exam. Mm -hmm. Speak to them every day. Mm -hmm. You are brilliant. Mm -hmm. You are brilliant. You have the capacity to do something phenomenal intellectually because mm. you are brilliant. Don't give up on your family. Don't give up on your children. If they are not, listen, they might not seem brilliant, but let me tell you something. Anybody can learn. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah. I don't even care what specialists say that deal with the, the uh, brain. Anybody can learn. It's just according to their learning technique. Okay, it's just according to how they learn. Once you figure out how they learn, get them a tutor. Get them a tutor if they're struggling in certain areas. Once they tutor finds out how they learn, trust me, them, I'm telling you, you're going to see it turn around like that. Okay, and they're going to soar. So, um, the next thing is going to be you have a great purpose. They, have, you have a great purpose. So that's what you're going to tell. Yeah. Hey, you have a great purpose. Honey. You have a great purpose. Maybe your purpose has not been fulfilled. Come on now. Because maybe you haven't found your sweet spot mm -hmm. or your niche. Ooh, I like Once that you find sweet your spot. sweet spot, you know, I'm a former basketball player. And once I got on that 15 to 18 range on the left or right <laughs> elbow, you basketball social lights know what I'm talking about. That was nothing but money. Swish on the left. buckets. So what I'm saying, though, my wife about to go into her thing. But what we're saying though, always speak to your children. Yes. Or your husband and wife that they have a purpose. Yes. Because they have a divine yes. purpose. Next. Well, you can do the next one. You are beautiful. Beautiful. Let me tell you something. When I look I at my wife sweet. every morning, and when she ain't fixed up, she's beautiful. Right. I said, You're beautiful. 
You are beautiful. Thanks, My God, you are majestically beautiful. Thank you, dog. Woo! And so you You're tell. Beautiful as well, sweetie. I'm glad I'm beautiful on the handsome side. That you gotta keep that real. Uh, yeah. But no, what we're talking about beautiful on the outside and beautiful on the inside. inside. Don't get it twisted. Yeah. Beauty is not on just the outside. That's right. It's definitely on the inside. It's but you start speaking on that. The inside. Yes. You speak that into your children. You speak that into yes. your husband and wife that they're beautiful. And guess what? If you don't think they're there yet, speak it anyway because your words have power. Yes, they your do. words have life. Yes, they do. Your words have the capacity to yes, change. Do. And the more you tell them that, the more, the more you, you tell say them. it, the more they start walking in it. Okay? And, and the more they start believing it. When they start believing it, then they're going to start walking. You know what my mom said? I'm great. My mom said, I'm, my dad said, I'm handsome. My dad said, I, there is awesomeness in me and I can do anything that I want to do. I'm beautiful. Yeah. You're beautiful. And guess what? If you tell your kids, biological bonus, or your husband and wife, they won't have time to buy into the low self-esteem myth. That's right. Syndrome. Come on now. Because when you start talking to them, I don't care what nobody's saying on the outside, you may That's not think right. I'm beautiful, but when I go home, <laughs> I believe I'm beautiful. I want you to know that my mom and dad, my brother and sister believe I'm beautiful. We got to move on. We running out of time. <laughs> we getting excited over here at WBGR Health and Wellness. Tell them. They are special and unique. They are wonderfully made. Ooh. Woo. Sp organically created. Yes. And wonderfully made. Nobody like them. You are uniquely There's who not God an, made you to be. They can't clone you. Even if you have a twin, y'all both have your own specified and specific uniqueness. That's right. That's been put in the atmosphere inside of you. And be satisfied with who you are. Right, baby. Be satisfied. God didn't make no junk. You are not junk, okay? God made you just the way you are. <laughs> love yourself. Yes. And love those around you. So, babe, we mm -hmm. need to, we need to, we got, we got two minutes. All right, so we'll run down. You are a winner. Woo! You a champion. Born, you were born for greatness. You're a champion. You have unlimited potential. You're gifted beyond the norm. Yes. You are an asset and not a liability. You're an asset and not a your liability. Bonus. Your bonus, your you plus. You are loved and appreciated. Everybody wants to know that yes. they're loved and appreciated. Okay? The next one I'm going to read is a quote. Yes. Now we get down to where he was trying to jump to. Speak life. <laughs> Raise your thoughts a little higher. Use your words to inspire. Mm -hmm. Joy will fall like rain. When you speak life... With the things you say. Speak life. Speak life. We're going to have a word of prayer yes. as we close. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Father, we thank you for this amazing show. We got thank excited you, because we're going to speak and breathe life yes. into the blended family, That's right. into the atmosphere. That's right. We thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Lord. In the precious name of your son. Amen. Amen. Babe, let me tell you something. I got so pumped up. I hope y'all think I wasn't preaching. I was not trying to preach. But see, I'm telling you, so oh, many no, people that, spoke no. into my life that didn't have nothing to do with my life. <laughs> and God so told me that I'm fearfully and wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. So are That's you right. all. And so are you. Mm. That's right. This you are something. awesome. 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 <laughs> awesome. 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 So look in the mirror today and say I'm awesome. I'm unique and I'm special. Yes. All right. Fantastic. It's been great. And you got some things on there you might want. I know. I, it's all right. Well, it's that time. Time to end the show. But we've had an absolute blast. Please come back and check us out on next Wednesday from 1.30 to 2.30 to where we will share some more insights on how the blended family can rise. Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you. Peace be upon you.